Hey guys, Dion here, back with not a review, but rather an unboxing. And this is the unboxing for the HE350s from Hi-Fi Man and Mastrop. So, this have these headphones were based on the old HE300s from Hi-Fi Man. Mastrop actually contacted Hi-Fi Man to see if they can re try to revive the HE300, improve where possible and see what they get. And this is what they ended up with. So now I ordered these um, about five months ago. So almost six months. So I, I received them, uh, these headphones, on September 21st. Um, I ordered them May 1st. And these were um, set to arrive August 3rd and then got delayed to September 3rd. And it took another three weeks or however many uh, for these to actually come. All right, so on to the unboxing. So as you can see, we got uh, just we got a silhouette of the headphones here. We got the made in China. Um, another silhouette. We got some specifications. Its frequency is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Impedance is 19 ohms. Efficiency is 98 decibels. Weight 300 grams. Um, that's probably with the cable. Uh, let's see. We got the entire silhouette, HE350s, and some information about Hi-Fi Man. Cool, 350, innovation, innovating the art of listening. Oh, you guys can see that. Innovating the art of listening. Cool. And I think that's it. Yeah, bottom is the same. All right. Okay, and now for the unboxing. All right, so we just slide this right up. And we got that styrofoam cover. And these are the headphones. So first, let's take this cable out. Um, this cable feels pretty nice. It's got that quarter inch. Okay. And these are the actual headphones. All right. And it looks like there's nothing else inside the box. All right. So, as you can see, we have the hi fi Man logo, HE350. We got these huge 50, uh, 50 millimeter uh, cups and yeah so they swivel I think that's 180 degrees right or is that 360 I don't know and we got these ear pads uh, I think they're called velour they seem pretty soft to the touch it seems it seems a little stiff I'll, I'll try these on in a bit and let you guys know um, and we got these this leather band and it's pretty nicely padded on the bottom. And I believe this is faux leather. And then we have the actual uh, headband that kind of supports the entire thing. And pretty nice, uh, pretty nice build. We got that mass drop logo over here too. Okay. Um, it looks like there's a little clips here, and it clicks, which is nice. All right. Uh, so you'll know exactly where you are. Um, in terms of the height and whatnot, uh, we have designated left and designated right. If you guys can see that, so let me flip that over. Okay, and so as you guys know, these are open back headphones, so they are open to the environment, creating a bigger sound stage. And yeah, okay. So now let's look. Let's uh, take a quick transition and talk about this cable. So the reason why I want to talk about this cable is, well, first of all, it comes with a quarter inch adapter, which is nice. Clips right on and off, very easy to use, all right? Um, and it looks like they're both gold plated, which is nice. Okay, and this is a 90 degree angle. Um, you know, it's your standard. It seems like it's pretty well built, um, but. Man, this cable just feels so thick and sturdy. Like super durable. Uh, we'll see. It, it doesn't seem like this cable really wants to uh, tangle up on itself that much. Like it's kind of got that, like, not that slippery feel of uh, rubber, but it's kind of close to that. I want to say kind of like the Apple uh, earphones, kind of like that rubbery material. Maybe, maybe a little better than that. Um, we got a splitter to right and left. Um, where are these? 2.5 millimeter um, 
jacks for the actual cups. So right goes with right, and it clicks right in. So that's nice. Okay. So yeah, overall, the build quality of this is pretty nice. All right. so let's move this back and talk about this again. It feels super light, All right? Uh, I think before this was kind of like a black or white color and it was made of metal, something like that. Uh, someone can verify, but now it's made out of this like grayish space gray type of color and it's all made of plastic. The only metal that I can see so far is this little headband unit up here. Um, but even though that might be like cheap, cheap material, you know, I think that makes the actual headphones really light. So I think that's going to be really nice. You're going to be able to wear it for a very long time. Now, I've heard so far that um, these require a lot of breaking in, right? Like, I think a lot of the sound has a lot to do with breaking in and also the, uh, the actual comfort of them too. So give me a quick second, guys. I'm going to try these out for a little bit and let you know how they are. Okay guys, so I've tried these for a, f a bit. Um, I used mostly uh, my computer. I don't have a, a good sound system set up, so I don't have any high quality music files or anything like that. I don't have an amp, but you know, this, this isn't required too much uh, power to, to use. Um, so what I've noticed is this cable seems a bit short compared to a lot of other uh, headphones. It's, it's a nice cable, but it just seems a little bit too short for my taste. Uh, it kind of, um, it just if there was a bit more, it would have been better, but uh, I might be kind of nitpicking there. Um, the sound, so the sound itself, yeah, so the highs and the mids are super punchy, but it was a bit too much. It kind of made my head hurt for a bit, and so, I don't know. The bass was okay, it's pretty flat. Uh, which is nice. Um, having a lot of bass is nice too, but flat no flat EQ is nice too. So I'm not complaining too much. It seems pretty balanced, but just the highs and the mids are a bit too much. So probably a bit of breaking in will help, uh, especially with the bass, especially with the highs and mids. Um, the actual comfort of these cups, um, I think it's either too tight. I gotta, I gotta wear these out a little bit more or something, but uh, it, it kind of hurts a little bit. It's a bit too stiff, All right? So even though they feel to the touch pretty soft, uh, I like once I put these on my ears, on my head, it just kind of hurts a little bit too much. It's a bit too uncomfortable. Um, but other than that, it's a it's this is a pretty good pair of headphones. Now these were MSRP was three hundred, but on on Mass Drop these are a hundred dollars. So I believe the original HE three hundred were $300 um, and then that's what the MSRP is but you know so yeah overall these headphones are great uh, the build is pretty good I'm pretty satisfied with the build I think the sound I have to wait for a little bit um, I'll give you guys a separate review for that um, but yeah the sound I think will come in a bit and uh, yeah other than that I think that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed um, if you have any questions or comments Leave them below. If you haven't already, like this video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.